find the type of filter shown below. So there is an op amp circuit and nothing is given about the op amp which means the op amp can be assumed to be ideal. And also the circuit has got only one capacitor. So the given circuit is a first order circuit. And any first order circuit can be low pass, high pass or all pass. But it cannot be band pass as well as band stop. So from the options, we can directly rule out uh, band stop and band pass. So now we have to choose between low pass and high pass. So how do you decide low pass or high pass? By simply finding the output or the gain at low and high frequencies. So first let us find the gain of this circuit at low frequency. At low frequency. You know at low frequency the capacitor behaves like an open circuit. You can simply remove the capacitor like this. And then let us find the output. See, whatever be the frequency, the op amp will always be in negative feedback. So from virtual shot, V plus and V minus both will be equal. So the voltage at the plus input terminal from voltage division is going to be VI by 2. Now if V plus is VI by 2, then V minus is also going to be VI by 2. And of course, this input current is again going to be 0. So what is this current going to be? Vi minus Vi by 2 which is Vi by 2 upon R or Vi by 2R. Now this Vi by 2R will flow through this R. So even this current is what Vi by 2R. And the resulting drop across R will be Vi by 2. Now this is Vi by 2 then you have a drop of Vi by 2. Vi by 2 minus Vi by 2 V0 is 0. So at low frequency the output is 0. If the output is 0, even the gain will be 0. So here itself, we can say that uh, the given circuit is a high pass filter. But still, let us uh, go ahead and find the output at high frequency. So the second circuit, we will analyze it when the input is at a high frequency. Again, high frequency, generally the capacitor tends to behave like a short circuit. So this time, we can replace the capacitor with a short circuit, that's all. Whatever be the frequency, the voltage at the plus input terminal will be Vi by 2. Then from virtual shot, V minus will also be Vi by 2. Now the minus input terminal is directly shorted to the output. So V0 is also Vi by 2. So V0 is Vi by 2, then what is the gain? It is half. So we can see at low frequency the gain is 0 and high frequency the gain is half. So clearly it is a high pass filter. So the correct answer is option C, high pass. Okay, find V out in the below circuit, assume op amp to be ideal. See what you should understand from this is that between these two points, we have a input voltage source whose value is 1 volt. That is how you should understand the given circuit. I will just draw the neat diagram of the given circuit. So look at this, between the two input terminals, that is this point and this point, I have connected a voltage source of value 1 volt. Here also all the resistors are identical. Let them be R each, where again R is what some 1 kilo ohm. Let us find the output voltage V0. Again this op amp is in negative feedback, so virtual shot will be valid. See, if you look at the plus input terminal, is it not directly connected to ground, which means V plus will be 0. Now, from virtual shot, even V minus will be 0. And these two points are virtually shorted. So, it is as if we have a loop here. So, what is the current in this uh, loop? Will it not be 1 volt divided by the net resistance in the loop, which is 2R? So, is it not 1 by 2R? So, what is this current? 1 volt by 2R. Again, this current being 0. So, even this current will be what? 1 volts by 2R. Now, 1 volt by 2R current flowing through R will result in a voltage drop of 1 volt by 2R into R, which is half a volt or 0.5 volts. 
now this is 0 volts then you go from plus to minus you have to subtract the drop so v naught will be minus 0.5 volts so what is v naught minus 0.5 volts which is not among the given options so i think 120 second question mark should be granted to all irrespective of your response because the correct answer is v naught equal to minus 0.5 volts okay